Good morning, good morning from day three of our day f of our four day quick Disney getaway here in May of 2021. I have a this morning, I've been showing my outfit every day, a Mama Mouse shirt on, and Nora, we need to brush her hair, has a Minnie Mouse shirt on. So, so cute. So, this morning, we, we haven't set alarms for our whole time on this trip. Um, we've just been really going with the flow, going with Nora, making sure that she's getting enough sleep because our whole day goes better when she gets enough sleep. Um, but anyway, so we all got some good sleep. It's about nine o'clock now. We are going to Epcot today, which doesn't open until 11. They typically let guests in around 10, 15 or 10, 30. So we are going to go grab some breakfast here at our resort. We are staying at the Grand Floridian. It has been a magical stay. It's been so wonderful. So we're going to go grab some breakfast here at Gasparilla Grill, which is the quick service on site. And then we're going to head over to Epcot for a while. And I know that we have lunch reservations today at Coral Reef Restaurant in Epcot, which is a place that I went. I'm out of breath. I'm 19 weeks pregnant. <laughs> and um, that is one of my biggest symptoms is breathlessness, even just sitting here talking. Anyway, I went to Coral Reef Restaurant, my family, uh, with my nuclear family that I grew up, you know, my siblings and my parents, in seventh grade. And I have not been back since. And when I was planning this trip, I didn't want to book a lot of table service restaurants because our daughter is only one and a half years old. And um, as you can see, <laughs> and um, she's very active and I knew she wouldn't want to sit a whole lot. But I thought she would love Coral Reef because you basically are sitting like in an aquarium with, you know, it's so cool. I can't wait to show y'all if you Yay! haven't seen it before. And I really can't wait for Nora to see it. I think she's going to love it. So it's another beautiful day. It's 72 degrees right now and breezy. Yay! Just wonderful. Here's Riley, my husband, just getting ready in the background. There he is. Um, but I will check in throughout the day today. A couple of things that I have mentioned in previous videos. Um, what have I mentioned in previous videos? Oh, I forgot my memory card. I have like a, a good vlogging camera because I've been on YouTube now for several years and it's a part of my world. And um, I forgot a memory card and I think I probably could find one if I really looked and hunted, but I just have been wanting to enjoy my um, vacation with my family. And I actually just upgraded my phone. So my phone is super high quality. So I'm just vlogging on my phone. I'm sorry if it's not quite as great as normal, but actually I think it's turning out to be pretty great. And to be honest with you, with a toddler, being able to slide my phone into my pocket and pull it out real quick to take a little clip has actually been like 10 out of 10. So great. So they're ready. Let's head out. As, we're about to go as a couple Riley and I okay this is okay one second language for I'm ready to go um as a couple Riley and I have been to Disney together five times this is our sixth trip together and then prior to that Riley had never been to Walt Disney World only Disneyland and once and I had only been to Disney World a couple of times um with my family so one big trip and I think I went once with my cousin for a couple of days because her dad had a conference in Orlando. Anyway, let me tell you, this is the first time I've ever had a stroller because it's the first time I've only ha ever had a child with me and the stroller life is the best life, Nora. It is the best, she's eating a fig bar, is the best life. We can load it up. We can load it up with everything we need. Okay, we've got my, our big diaper bag down there. We've got drinks and snacks up here. Sit down, Norny, that's not safe. Okay, we're going to get going, but just want you to know how great it is to have a stroller in Disney. It's so fantastic to load that thing up and push it. For breakfast this morning, Nora's having some chocolate milk, and I also got her some oatmeal here. And I got an iced caramel macchiato, and Riley got some ice, I think, um, some cold brew. And then we both got croissant sandwiches. He got the little tater tots with his, and then I got a side of bacon to give to Nora. So we're going to go ahead and eat, and then we're going to head to Epcot. We're on the bus on the way to Epcot, and actually we're in more of like a Magical Express style bus rather than the typical buses to get around Disney, but it's great because Nora was trying to climb all around yesterday, and this time she can just kind of look out. And the reason why we're taking a bus to Epcot instead of the monorail is because the monorail line from the Grand to Epcot is currently closed, unfortunately. But this worked out well. 
we're here at Epcot and we're heading in. I'm excited to see the kind of construction they've been working on up here at the front. I believe Spaceship Earth is open again, right? I think Nora would really enjoy that. So I hope so, because I think that would be a fun ride to go on with her. Our first ride of the day today is Frozen Ever After. We're hoping to beat most of the crowds. We will see. Both of us love this line. I mean, well, yeah, the line to the queue too. Oh, it says 10 minutes. I don't think it's gonna be quite 10 minutes, but if you, even if it's 20 or 25, it'll be a lot better than what this will be later in the day. Nora is nursing her apple juice and we are inside the frozen queue. We've only been in line for three minutes so far. So we're wondering if the 10 minute wait time is actually accurate because we've been moving very quickly. We will see. She looks sleepy. We are just about to get onto the ride and it's only been seven minutes. Amazing. So we got in line here around 10.55 and the park officially opens at 11, but they let people in earlier. So definitely worth it, especially when there's no fast passes right now. That ride was a total success. Nora loved it. She was clapping the whole time. What's that? What's he doing? You wanna hold it? You wanna hold it? No. Nora picked out baby Anna. And daddy was gonna get her baby Elsa too, but she fully rejected baby Elsa. She did not want her, she only wanted Anna. Oh, she loves baby dolls. She looks teary-eyed because she fell flat on her face while she was picking her out. <laughs> Here's the other shop. This is more, less like souvenir -y stuff and more merchandise from Norway. Take this tag off, huh? We're gonna head out. For our second ride of the day, we're gonna do the, we're gonna do the Grand Fiesta tour, the Three Caballeros. Riley loves this ride. We've only ridden it a couple of times. We always forget about it since it's tucked back here, but we know Nora will love it, so gonna be our next our next ride here in Epcot we are in the China Pavilion enjoying ourselves Nora is loving all the fun things they have here well she doesn't seem to be loving it right in this exact moment but in general she loves it We just got to Germany, so, you know, the Germany Pavilion. So we're gonna walk around in here. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing because of this caramel shop here. Oh, it'd be cute to get a little German toy for Nora. Both Riley and I are of German heritage. I think you probably more so than me. I'm pretty Irish. I have a lot of Irish in me. The German Pavilion, Germany Pavilion has a cool little village. Germany is like at the very tippy top of the list of places I would like to visit. So many parts of it I would like to see. And look, because it's the Flower and Garden Festival, they have a snow white topiary. It's really cute. We pulled over here to take a quick restroom break and Nora found some ducks and she is just loving them. She loves birds. What are those, Nora? It's a gorgeous day today. We're walking by the Italian Italy Pavilion. I keep saying it's funny right now pregnancy brain for real um i think we're probably going to spend some time here tonight so we're just going to keep on walking we are in the japan pavilion which is my favorite of all of them those of you who follow along with other trips know we're going to mitsukoshi which i love i love being in here We just walked out of Mitsukoshi and of course we had to get some snacks. Anna's on the floor again. Nora's fighting a nap. So, okay Nora, hang on. 
we got this. I think it's just water. I think it's just like smart water. Yeah. With it's like water with electrolytes. But I like the name of it. It was weird. And got then Riley got some shrimp chips. Okay, Nora. I'm sorry, baby. We're gonna and keep I walking. Also got some um, umami seaweed fries. Oh, is that what they are? Fries. Yeah. And of course, I got my gummy candy that I love so much. This one has grape, strawberry. I think. I don't really know what that is. Muscat. I think it's like a green, grape looking. Yeah, it looks like a green. I'm sure I'll love it. Yeah. <laughs> and then I got um, like a sour grape. Yeah. Seaweed stringy stuff. Fettuccine, that's funny. Yeah. That's it. It's 12.47. We're gonna start heading over to Coral Reef Restaurant because we have a 105 reservation. So we're gonna start meandering over there about 20 minutes from now. Very, very, very low crowds. Oh, how is it? It's really good. It's flavored. It is? Yeah. Like flavored like what? I don't know. Try it. Citrusy. Like orange. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it tastes like orange. Oh, that's good. It tastes like Gatorade. Mm -hmm. All right. We're heading to check in to Coral Reef Restaurant for lunch. It's one o'clock right now. And we're really looking forward to dining here, especially since Riley's never been here. And I have not been since I was 12 years old. So I hardly... Actually, I remember it pretty well because it was such a good experience. So I'm excited to relive it now with my daughter. This is so neat. I don't remember this very well. And here is our table. They let us bring Nora's stroller in because she fell sound asleep. And they're the aquarium it's so cool what beer did you get it's an amber reef it's a special disney beer for this restaurant oh that's neat and we got some rolls and butter and then i got a watermelon lemonade it's very very relaxing in here i like it a lot what did you get? I got the mahi mahi with some kind of shrimp salsa on some rice with some um, cilantro lime sauce. And I got the orange citrus chicken something. Roasted. It just looks yummy. I don't know. And the sauce looks delicious. We just finished up lunch. It was delicious. And now we're heading into the seas with Nemo and friends, which is a really, really fun clamshell ride. I think Nora's really gonna enjoy it. Definitely loved Coral Reef. That was so good. I, I'm like, I was born and raised in Maryland, which is a place with lots of seafood and I just don't care for seafood. I've tried all different kinds. The only thing I'll really eat and like is crab. So I got chicken and it was this orange glazed citrus buttery chicken and it was so good. And it came with like all these different veggies and if you're not a seafood person and you go to Coral Reef, I definitely recommend, recommend it. Here we go. This is another ride that we're just walking right onto. We have waited so, so, so little time. <laughs> to get on any ride this entire trip. It's been amazing, amazing, amazing. We just rode the seas with Nemo and friends and Nora absolutely loved it. She clapped the whole ride. We have had really good success with her own rides so far. No tears or getting upset, she's loved them all. And now we're looking at the fishies with her and she's really enjoying that too. We are in the land pavilion now. We are going to go and do Living with the Land, which has always been one of my favorite rides, and I think Nora will really, really love it. I know I've said that over and over, but you know, those kinds of rides are perfect for little kids. Be familiar with the handful that make up our everyday diet. The common grains growing here, wheat, maize, sorghum, and millet, plus rice, account for nearly two
Because it's Flower and Garden Festival, there is a butterfly garden. So we decided to come and explore it. It's absolutely beautiful and gorgeous. Hydrangea are like my very, very favorite. They're so beautiful, I love them. We are heading into <laughs> my favorite ride. <laughs> Journey into imagination with Thingman. Is that Mickey? Do you see them? Hi, Mickey. Yeah. We are waiting for a bus to get back to our resort. We've had a really great day in Epcot. And we are tired. It is 5 o'clock on the dot. So we're gonna head back and recharge for a little bit. I don't know if we're gonna swim. I definitely wanna get some kind of cold drink or a cold treat or ice cream or something. And then I think we're gonna head back to Magic Kingdom tonight because there's just so much for Nora to do there. And um, we have still haven't done the Winnie the Pooh ride there. And we'd like to do Small World at least one more time because she likes it so much. So I think that's our loose plan. So we just got back to the Grand Floridian and I got a drink and we're sitting outside with Nora on the grass just letting her roam and play because she's been in her stroller for the past few hours as we've navigated our way <clears throat> excuse me around Epcot she loves finding tiny little things <laughs> and playing with them <laughs> it's really really quiet right now there's nobody else around except for people who are in the pool even even the pool is not very crowded so it's a really nice afternoon for us to just hang out here in the grass hey guys it is seven o'clock on the dot so it's been a little while since i checked in we left epcot and came back here and sat in the grass and had kind of like a little picnic we got drinks and snacks and Nora ran around and it was really really nice um we rested for about 15 minutes here you know with a toddler Unless she's tired, nobody's resting. But it was it was a really good um, afternoon and evening. And so I can't believe it's already 7 o'clock. So we are going to head onto the monorail and go back to Magic Kingdom tonight. Like I said earlier, it's just been such a win for us as far as Nora is concerned. And this trip is obviously very Nora-centric. There are just so many rides that she can ride in Magic Kingdom. And it just feels like the best park for her. Um, we had a really good time in Epcot today. But, you know, there's just not as much. Um, and it's spread out and it was hot and we had a really nice time. But you know what I'm saying. So we're going to go back to Magic Kingdom tonight. <sighs> we're going to take um, my special picture that I take every single year since we first started coming. So I will put those pictures in here. The first one is in May of 2016 and then January of 2017, January of 2018, January of 2019, and then I have another one in May of 2019. Um, and then this one, which will be May of 2021. So sadly, we didn't come in 2020, but for obvious reasons. So we're all packed up, ready to go. And we're going to head out to Magic Kingdom. We've made it here to Magic Kingdom. And it is another beautiful evening, cool and breezy, and very, very low crowds. Quick little check-in this evening. We have had the nicest time. Nora actually fell sound asleep as soon as we got into the park. And it's been so nice, just the two of us to walk around. So we went into the ornament shop and we got an ornament for this year. And we've just been walking around. We just saw a couple got engaged. It was so exciting. Riley went to Memento Mori to try to find something, which he does every single year and he never can find anything, but it was still fun. I think I would like a Mickey pretzel for dinner, so you're probably going to go find something like that. And Riley wants a hot dog. Easy peasy. <laughs> Looks have majorly declined. <laughs> Hello! It is about 10.15 p.m. and looks have majorly declined i'm absolutely exhausted epcot is a very big park and i walked and walked and walked and i'm 19 weeks pregnant and i'm exhausted I have this little got all kinds of little things in my lap right now that nora is giving me all her babies um she's giving me more and more we had a really nice evening in magic kingdom <laughs> now she's awake because she napped for like three hours 
Um, we had a really nice evening in Magic Kingdom. Riley and I walked around while she napped. It was so nice. Um, it felt like the olden days when we used to vacation in Disney without any kids. So anyway, it was, it's been really special having her here. Um, but it was fun to have just like a couple of hours where it was, you know, we were pushing her around in the stroller, but it was really, we could talk and it was just the two of us. So we didn't ride any rides because we didn't want to, you know, you, you know, so, um, we like shopped and went to some different places and I actually, Riley bought his mom a mug and I just cracked it into a bunch of different pieces by accident because I slammed it down because I bought a sweatshirt and I thought the sweatshirt was in the bag and the mug was in the bag. So I will remedy that in the morning. Um, I don't think they probably will give me a replacement. So I'll just purchase another mug. But anyway, we ended up taking the walking path back from Magic Kingdom to King Magic Kingdom to the Grand Floridian, which is actually a really, really good option, even though by that point, my whole body and legs and feet were just like totally aching and I was really exhausted. Um, it was, it's just nice to not have to wait in lines at the monorail or whatever and just know you're making forward progress. Plus it's beautiful, it's lit up and you're walking right along the water. So we really enjoyed that. So we had a long walk home, you know, 15 or 20 minutes um, while Nora continued to sleep. So we just chatted and when we got back to our resort, we bumped into... Um, my dear friend Katie and her husband Justin and their two kids. So Katie has a YouTube channel and she has an Instagram account and both on both she is Katie's Kingdom, K-A-T-Y. Um, and we met through Loving Disney Online. We met through Loving Disney through the internet is what, what I'm trying to say several years ago. And we have just become such good friends. We text and Marco Polo and communicate all the time, at least weekly, if not, sometimes it's daily. Like we talk a whole lot, even though we live across the country from one another. So um, I knew that she was going to be here during this. We knew each other were going to be here during this time. and um, But we didn't plan on bumping into each other just then. So it was really, really fun. And we got to talk for a little while and just hear about what they've been up to. And we're going to try to get brunch together tomorrow um, morning. So we'll see if that works out. We're going to see if we can make that work. But it's been a really good day. I am just exhausted. My body has had it. <laughs> my legs and feet and hips, just my back, everything. I'm just totally, totally, totally exhausted um, physically. But mentally, it was such a good day. It was so much fun. Had a lot of fun. Epcot's a really hot park um, in the heat of the day. And with a mask on on top of the heat, it was it just, it was hard at times. Walking around the World Showcase, there's not tons of shade. Um... So there are definitely moments where it was it was a bit challenging. Magic Kingdom has so far by far been the winter park for us with Nora. There's just a lot of shade, a lot of places to pull over and sit down, um, lots of rides that are toddler friendly. There's just a lot that's more compacted, whereas Epcot is so large and spread out. But we still had such a fun day there at Epcot. So tomorrow, like I said, our plan is to hopefully, because tomorrow is Mother's Day, and actually Katie has an older son, and then she had a daughter one month before I had Nora. So we were pregnant with our daughters together. And then she is pregnant now with a baby boy. And I am also pregnant with a baby boy. And so, and we are, again, just weeks apart. Our due dates are just weeks apart. So that's been really bonding and really, really fun. Um, so anyway, we're, for Mother's Day, we're, we're hoping to get brunch with them. And if we're able to do that, we'll do that. Um, we'll check out of the hotel and then we will go to Magic Kingdom for a few hours before we head to the airport tomorrow evening. Mm -hmm.